Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling. Thank you guys for the support and the overwhelming comments. Feel free to drop your comments, positive or negative, I take it. And remember to subscribe. Today I'm gonna bring you a very very special deck, it's the king of the tier. So today I kinda got tiered by <clears throat> something. So you know, when your boy got tiered, I tried to do something special. So what is this king of the tier is all about? So basically, it's all about burning, as you can see from some of the burners, and milling as well. So it's two of the kind become to one, which is the king of the tier. So um, showcasing this Purex, the elemental lot. This is a, I would say, is a free cut from the previous water tower and fire tower event. So I have two of them, which is good enough. So what does this card do is that this card can be special summoned by having exactly five fire monster in your graveyard. So you must remember there can be only five, nothing more, nothing less, and you can special summon it. So what does it effect is? Its effect is if it's special summoned into the front row, I can target one monster my opponent control, destroy it, and if you do, both player take damage equal to half the original attack of the destroyed monster. So if let's say there's a lava golem on the opposition, I special summon this, I destroy lava golem. It's a 3000 life point, so each player takes 1005 each. So it's pretty easy to KO the opponent. So I have two of this, and basically it's all fire monster on my board. So two lava golem to deal more damage to the opponent. As we all know that from my previous video, Lava Golem is pretty nasty and it joins the rank with Prorex to be the king. And we have 3 Worm Worm for its effect to meet up the opponent deck to match their play and you know just to confuse them it's like what the hell is this guy doing to me. And <clears throat> I have 3 Bruce Fire Knight so this guy is the effect is if it's destroyed, I can send to the graveyard and I send one fire monster from my deck to the graveyard. So basically you are throwing more fire monster to the graveyard. I would suggest you to throw three of this, brush fire knight to the graveyard and one of the fire sorcerer. Fire sorcerer effect is well, it, I only use it if I able to KO in the next turn when the players left with like 800 life because I randomly select two cards from my hand and remove them from play so it's not to the graveyard so this is you know it kind of be risky if you place it face down because it can just banish away your prorex or lava golem or any other card so I only use it when for the finishing move or if I only have one card in my hand then I will place it down for you know just stalling measure and three of this frame well dragon off so this guy is the effect is if is destroyed by banner and sent to a graveyard, I inflict 500 damage to my opponent. So more burn, more tier. Three mass of the curse, just to knock down the opponent and to you know stall a little, let them run out of decks or run out of attack. To draining shield because you want to have more life point on your opponent. So when Prorex comes to play, you can just easily destroy your opponent. And three, three of a frame plan. So this card basically allows the opponent not to able to attack any face down monster during this turn, because basically you will be putting every every level four and below monster face down. So three of this sounds good to store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the king of the tier, and do drop a like, leave your comments down below for your suggestion or what kind of other decks you'd like to see i will try my best to make the most spicy juicy one for you and remember to subscribe follow me on my facebook for more uploads and updates so i use the skill do a standby just to meet up more cards and your opponent card as well so let's enjoy the highlight and see how can this prorex plus lava golden be the king of the tier So uh, first against Yugimoto, I believe this guy is the God card, the Ra Disciple, the Wind Beast of Ra. 
So let's see if the king can destroy the god. So I start off with pretty much a lot of monster and my the king is here, Prorex the Elemental Lot. So he used a Phantom Sky Blaster and destroyed my Dragon Knife. 500 damage to him. And now I just sat because I just want to meet up more monster to the graveyard to summon my lord and my king. So just keep on placing them. And another 500. He tried to econ to deal me more damage, which I don't mind because more milling, which means more w winning. So now I just go on defensive play, and here comes the Wind Dragon of Ra. The the god is out. Let's wait till my lord and my king. So I draining shield to get more life point. And now, well, I'm just stalling. <laughs> I can OTK. I can KO him this turn, but you know, I'm just a tilter. So now I got my warm worm out, which is good. More, more mining of him. And now, I summon my fire sorcerers in face up position because I just want to tilt him so I can get the fifth monster out to the grave and he buy to my trap I summon lava golem and my Porex the elemental lord and I use his effect to destroy Ra but I have no idea why it did not inflict damage for this one but I'm just throw him to the max but you know giving you the mass of curse to you and to me and it's an easy peasy win he ran out of card he got tilt to the max and welcome to the king of the tilt it's the tilting show i hope you guys enjoy it it's pretty easy i find it kind of fun just to have another type of tilting that rather than the normal amazon weaver kind it's kind of boring so I hope you guys enjoyed this juicy spicy one. So I started up with pretty much a lot of defense card. I set all my cards because I have a lava gold in my hand. I do not want to banish it. So I just set it just to make it destroy but I can't. So I'm against a uh, XYZ deck. So you know we need to quickly KO them because fusion monsters have the ability to destroy face down trap spell card or the monster card so draining shield to get more uh, life and lava golden for the tier and let the tier begin so I have the god I have the lord I have the king so he's trying his best to you know just clear my fear I have no problem about that I have mass of a curse of freak fan I have everything I need and Let's see who has the last laugh. He left 500 health. Where's me? I'm very healthy at 8200 life point. So he destroyed me. And he direct attacked me. I think I have more than 5 fire monster on the, on the graveyard. So I can't summon my lord. So well, but he got burned to death. So pretty easy win. This is the another level of burn. I will not be surprised that people will be fine tuning my deck to make it competitive because there is really potential in this. The king of the tip deck. So next game against Seto Kaiba. Not sure what is he gonna do against the tier. So I have Lava Golden with me. I have defensive play. So he's basically just play face down. He's he face down as well. I don't mind. I have more cards than him. He will be mill out sooner than later. So I lava golden him. Let's start to deal him some damage. Oh, he play bit down plantation deck, but I've just stalled for a bit, waiting for my lord. I'm calling him out, and he tried to bit down me again. No problem. Just mill out more cards. Just made up more of his cards. That's how powerful and tilting this deck is. And I have Pro Rex now. So he tried to, you know, just try his best to do something. AMA me. 
and 3,300 in my face. So I summon my Lord and I destroyed Rosemary because I live with very little life point. So he will be burned to death by Lava Golden. Easy peasy like a cheesy juicy. Peasy. Pizza. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. I do believe that I did not see this deck around so you know it's a fresh idea deck. So make sure to try it but after you achieve King of Kings because honestly I hate playing against Burn deck or Tilter deck during PvP. It's just not honorable enough. So just face down more trap cards to protect myself and he face down as well. No issue about that. So now he oh it's a mana deck, so no problem. The Bruce Fire mill up more cards. Easy about it. And just more face down to help myself. Cause I have the lot ready. I just need more fire cards in the graveyard. I must have curse him. Well, because I just want to deal more damage first. And the tie that blind, a frame ban. So just keep on burning him. Well, basically, you just want to stall. That's why you have three months of a curse. And mirror up his cards. Mirror up more of his cards. No issue about that. So, more damage to him. I'm still staying very healthy. I draining sure. And I got 1800 in me. I think got tiered a lot because he can't really do anything to me. He's like just waiting for his destiny to be ended. By the king of the tier, he enemy control me and give me a nice 3100 attack. I must have curse him again, trying to, you know, because I need one more fire monster on the graveyard, so I need to let him destroy my one worm, but he's quite tricky. He sent up more monster to the field, which is not nice at all to your boy. So now the god is here. The Kido is here, the Lord, the King. So now I Lava Golden him, but now he gave me a Delta, which is, ah, uh, I was like, oh God, why, is, why is that's the case? He gave me this card, and he's gonna destroy me. I turn it face down. I just go for the draw. <laughs> so this is a very well, I would say, a fun, a fun duo. At least I stall him for a draw, which is quite rare in dueling. So he did not get the best of the king, whereas the king did not get the best out of him. So it's kind of fun. And he got tiered for sure. So this is the last game for the replay. I hope you guys enjoy this new concept, the king of the tiered deck. And remember to drop a like, leave a subscribe, leave your comments down below. And drop your subscription, it's free, and follow me on my Facebook for more uploads and updates. I will be trying my best to do something next week, so stay tuned for more updates in my live chat. So, he quickly sent the destiny hero of Plasma. Going for the attack, I draining shield him. So now I just try my best to stall till I get the king out. One worm to meet up more cards. And the atmosphere is there, no issue. I just stall. Stalling is winning. I have two face down and I must have a curse to give him more burn to knock lock him down. So cosmic camper. So pretty much I know this is a that what's that card? Creature seizure spell spell card. So he Econ take, I push fire, should have more than enough now, creature seizure again. So attack, attack, my fear is pretty much clear. So I just sad, I'm just, and he just teared, he just surrender, he know he's not winning it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.